Let's welcome in our golf guru, Kyle Porter. All right, everyone's asking the question. From everything <coughs> you know right now, do you think Tiger Woods will compete at Augusta? Yes, I do, and and that's a DV or that's a shift uh, from what I thought two days ago, from what I thought five days ago. This is not, you know, Augusta National, Jenny, is, is not a place that, that people make returns at. It's a, it's a very, this sounds ridiculous for an athletic event, but it's a very difficult place to walk. It's very tiring. It's very taxing. Tiger hasn't played an official event in 17 months. And I think what's most interesting about this, the part that people aren't necessarily talking about right now, but might going into next week is if Tiger Woods plays, it's a deviation from, from what we've known about him historically. What does he always say, Jenny, whenever he arrives at an event? Hey, I'm here to win. Now, Tiger can't realistically believe that he's at the 2022 Masters to win because he's had so much time off because of how good everybody else in the world is right now. So it's more of a, hey, I'm, I'm jumping back into this if he does play. And I'm here because I want to play in the Masters. I want to be part of the festivities. So that would be a deviation from what we know about him historically, what he's always said. But it's also worth celebrating because it would be one of the great comeback stories of, of modern sports to, to, as Tiger said, almost like 50% chance that he was going to lose his right leg uh, about 15 months ago. To come back and play in the Masters 15 months later would be truly remarkable. I mean, you talk about a comeback story, it's like full circle. The Masters, obviously, he's seen so much success there. But as you mentioned, he hasn't played in a very long time due to that injury and that car accident. So even if he's out there, what chances do you give him to actually compete successfully? Obviously, we just want to see it. But to have success out there, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good question. And so two things. One, he hit the ball really well at the PNC Championship with his son, Charlie, in December. Now that's a that's not a golf course that can that can compare to Augusta National, but he still looked good uh, to the point where I don't think he's going to go out there and embarrass himself, and I don't think he would play if he was going to go out there and embarrass himself. But the thing that I think about when I think about this question, Jenny, is 2019. Uh, he, he he played really well. Obviously, he won the golf tournament, but he didn't play like Tiger of 20, 2001 or 2008 uh, played Augusta. He played. Uh, mentally superior to everybody else. He's so wise around that golf course. He's so smart around that golf course. Justin Thomas has talked about, hey, I just follow Tiger around and see where he's practicing from at Augusta National because I know that's where I need to practice from. So Justin Thomas, somebody who's one of the top five players in the world, knows how much he has to learn from Tiger. So I think mentally, Tiger's so much better than everybody else at Augusta that he could potentially make the cut. Now, I, I just don't know that physically uh, he can get up there at the top of the leaderboard and kind of mix it up with the guys that are playing really well right now. I mean, he, even he has talked about how he had so much buildup time to 2019 when he won the golf tournament that that stuff just takes so much time. But I think mentally, I do think he could at least play the weekend. And that would be, in and of itself, just making the weekend would be an incredible feat. Yeah, it'd be a huge success. And as you mentioned, it, Tiger's not going to put himself in a situation to embarrass himself, I would imagine. So I have a feeling we're going to be talking to you a lot more this week, Kyle. Thanks for joining <laughs> us right now on CBS Sports HQ. And the Masters, it's all starting on April 7th. You'll find the first two rounds of the Masters on Thursday and Friday. Find round three on Saturday live on CBS from 3 to 7. The final round, 2 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, April 10th on CBS coverage provided by Masters.com. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.